it's hard to explain how difficult it's been. I feel I'm lucky to be alive. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All sports. All sports. I'm very tough and I don't let a lot of things get to me. And I think that's a big bonus. I think that'll always be there. The sponsorships, the golf, the tour, that's, they're not going anywhere. Nine wish emergency. I need an ambulance immediately. I have someone down. What happened? What's wrong? I have a neighbor. He hit the tree. Eldrick Taunt Tiger Woods, born December 30th, 1975. The day was November 27th, 2009 a surreal moment in sports history that at the time, no one knew would become so. It's the day one of America's sports heroes' bizarre secret life began to unravel. He hit a fire hydrant and a tree trying to escape the clutches of his angry, weapon-wielding wife. From that day forward, we haven't seen a more drastic fall from grace in sports history. Sure, Michael Jordan was a gambling addict that ran around with characters that could have seen him suspended from the NBA and his own premature fall, but MJ, unlike Tiger, took action, although dramatic, and allegedly left the game entirely until the smoke cleared and returned to dominating basketball with his all-important image intact. Sure, Kobe Bryant had his own blemishes he fought in court and took a lifelong image hit as well, then returned to being one of the more revered sports heroes of his generation and repaired his image to most and was on his way to becoming an even bigger icon. But none of those or any misstep by an athlete that caused them almost everything was as bizarre as the secret life that ruined Tiger Woods' spotless legacy and caused him to fall short of the greatness he was on track to overexceed. In sports, they tell you to work hard, stay focused, stay humble, and you too can one day be on top of the world with enough talent. But what they don't tell you is how to deal with being so hardworking, so focused, and so great that you miss opportunities to develop other life skills. They don't teach you how to deal with rejection when someone doesn't want you for your money or fame. In contrast with the opposite sex throwing themselves at you day in and day out to the point you convince yourself you deserve to indulge in some of those trappings. Or how to stay balanced and not allow the world to paint you as this perfect person you can't possibly live up to. Tiger Woods had to learn that firsthand in the last 10 years at the most inopportune time. Around the time of the accident, Tiger was on pace to destroy every single record ever made in golf history by a margin so great he literally had rules ready to be put in place to try and slow him down. He had to be stopped. After the 1997 Masters, the world was introduced to the blood red wearing golfer that was about to embarrass the sport. The 2000 US Open and Open Championship, 2001-2002 Masters, Prime Tiger and becoming the youngest ever to achieve a Grand Slam at 24 years old. He went on to win 18 career World Golf Championship victories, 82 PGA Tour titles tied with Sam Snead, and spent over 13 years as the number one golfer on the planet. Yet, if I told you he could have been even better, some of your imaginations would reject that idea and not see that yes, the great Tiger Woods' growth was stunted. Here are three reasons why. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. Born in Cypress, California, to Earl and Coltilda Woods, to one of the most complicated ancestries outside Barack Obama, Tiger Woods best describes himself as Cablin Asian, a mix of Caucasian first somehow, Black, American Indian, and Asian. The name Tiger was a nickname given to him by his father in honor of his friend and Vietnamese colonel. He was introduced to golf at two years old and became a child prodigy throughout his teenage years, winning tournaments against older competitors since seven years old. At 15, he became the youngest junior amateur champion, which he went on to still being the only competitor to do so three times. He was the player of the year for multiple publications and competed in his first PGA Tour event, missing the 36-hole cut. 
he chose Stanford after being heavily recruited and became an instant star for the school, winning back-to-back -back U.S. amateur titles and being named the Male Athlete of the Year in the Pac-10. The only amateur to make the cut in the 95 Masters, finishing top 41. He'd win that tournament by 12 strokes two years later. He also won the NCAA Individual Golf Championship in 96, leaving school after two years to turn pro. Stunt number one, the reward for greatness. What's the famous saying, they build you up to break you down? It's one of the more prominent rewards for being so great at something that the only challenge left is to test if you can rise from the burning ashes of grace to become loved again. Only this time, they feel as though they had a part in making or controlling your greatness. If you ever become greater than they expected the second time around, they'll always remind you of where you've been to keep you in control. At some point, all the greats will be tested. To whom much is given, much is required. That doesn't only mean hard work. Tiger Woods had gotten so great after he turned pro and have been sought after for years by temptations to bring him down and it seemed he kept racehorse blinders to them and it helped him create the squeaky clean image of success none had managed to accomplish in sports and entertainment. To become this great, Tiger Woods trained for golf as a need instead of a hobby or something he saw as financial escape. He attempted to play other sports, but his father wouldn't let him in order to focus on golf. His focus led him to victories that would feed anyone's ego, but made Tiger feel uncomfortable. He dominated golf since winning the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year in 96, 11 PGA Player of the Year awards in 16 years from 97 to 2013, 5 in a row from 99 to 2003, 5 Masters including back-to-back -back in 2001 and 2002, 4 PGA Championships, 3 US Open, and the Open Championships. By 2003, the Augusta National and many courses added yardage to their tees to try and slow Tiger Woods from embarrassing other golfers, as they say, who felt he was making it hard to continuously compete for second place at best. It was literally called Tiger Proofing. But the only thing that could stop Tiger was himself. November 27, 2009, he crashes his Escalade into a fire hydrant and a tree, and while embarrassing, nothing equaled the news that started to pour out after. That Tiger Woods was having multiple affairs on his wife during and after her pregnancy, to which she was allegedly attacking him with golf clubs prior that may have caused the accident. Women came from everywhere to tell their Tiger Woods affair story too fast for Tiger to soak the lake with a towel big enough to clean a small spill. He took time away from golf in attempt to fix his marriage but to no avail. He and wife were divorced the following year. It was the first time anyone had seen Tiger Woods take a negative hit to his squeaky clean image. Surely it wouldn't be the last. Stunt number two, injuries. As great as Tiger has been over the years, he's had to do it pretty much injured. Beginning in 94, where he had his first knee surgery to remove scar tissue and small tumors. Surgery in 2002 on the same knee to remove fluid and cysts, where he missed just a few weeks of competition to start 2003, then won three of his first four events. 2007 ACL rupture, 2008 surgery on the same left knee again, and in two months back to win the US Open. Followed by surgery on the same ACL, missing eight months of competition. Right Achilles, left Achilles, four back surgeries, elbow. I've never seen or covered an athlete that had more adversity in the form of injuries, only to come back just as or more dominant. His most recent was a car accident he had February 2021 where he rolled his SUV while driving 80 miles per hour in a residential area and had to be freed by an emergency crew. His right leg and ankle were severely broken, requiring emergency surgery. Tiger Woods is one of the greatest athletes to ever live, but could have been even greater had he been more healthy. Stunt number three, more crushing image blows. Hey, it's uh, it's Tiger. I need you to do me a huge favor. Can you please?
please take your name off your phone. My wife went through my phone and um, maybe calling you. Please take your name off that. Yeah, do this for me. Dude, quickly. All right. As if things couldn't get any worse for Tiger as far as the way people viewed him. Following the accident, a number of women came out and had unflattering stories about their affairs with Tiger. And then the voicemail dropped and peeled another layer off the secrets kept deep inside the carefully protected image of Tiger Woods. Even though he's caught, he still tries to obstruct his wife from finding the truth. I know, real human, right? It only made things worse. Not only are you a cheater, you're a liar as well with no remorse or decency to just come clean. Seven weeks go by since the accident and no one has seen Tiger in public. Where does the man of the hour who's trying to save his marriage and repair his image show up? A sex addiction clinic in Mississippi. At this point, to some, it made sense. Over 12 women came forward and confessed to being with Woods all around the same time. This has to be something explainable, right? Or is that what Tiger wanted the public to think? That he's not actually a bad guy, and nothing he did was his fault entirely, but that he had an addiction, just like most of America. And now, like a good old American citizen, he's seeking help, and we shouldn't attack him. It was a great play, the only play. Let's pull at the strings of America's need to forgive. At least it gives them something else to talk about instead of the infidelities or being caught and attacked with golf clubs leading to crashing your car and being found in the most embarrassing but so Tiger Woods way. Laying on your back, fake sleeping with a blanket over you and a pillow under your head. This can't be life. By that point, he'd been dropped by all major sponsors except Nike and was on course to lose 40% of his annual $100 million income. Then, in May 2017, he was arrested for a DUI and found to have multiple drugs in his system. From hydrocodone to Xanax to THC, after entering a program, the DUI went away. But his image was forever tarnished. He did return to golf and even won a Masters in 2019, but even that didn't cleanse the secrets of his past. Since November 27, 2009, he's never been the same. All in all, this is the story of many things. Why as a parent, you give up a child developing basic life skills when you isolate him from the world in the form of hard work. Also, to be aware of the person society is trying to make you instead of being honest with who you are and living as that person. Not the image created for you. Tiger Woods learned that in the public eye and will never be the same, in the public eye or within himself. They built him up, broke him down and built him again to showcase the stains of the man he really was, not some perfect golf darling but just as imperfect as you or I. Salute to Tiger Woods, much respect, but for these reasons, his growth was stunned. It's your boy JC, stunned growth, and I'm out.